here is the Sensoji Temple. We have arrived here, so let's have a look. You may wonder what this very big straw sandal is. It's called Owaraji, and it is a zori, which is straw sandal in Japanese. And you can see it's so very big. They said it's been bathed at 800 people and it weighs just so much. Actually, they say it is really, really big because it's a straw sandal from the gods. So if there are such big gods inside of the place, like bad spirits and monsters, are too afraid to enter, so only the good people can enter the temple. And that's why it's so big, it's because of the god. Like you might have noticed that everything in the temple is just so very big. Oh, anyways. The Asakusa from before was really different from now. It looked a little like this. As you can see, there were a lot of ocean. It was just next to the ocean and there were a lot of rivers. It was actually an important port city. So there were a lot of trafficking with boats and ships. And an interesting fact is the name Asakusa. It actually means shallow grass. And it's because there were a lot of ponds, some very shallow grass, and they decided to take the name from it and become Asakusa. It changed during Edo and became the city it is now, but it was so different back then. You can still see the Sumida River. There was so much more water. It changed so much. <laughs> the question is, why did they create such a big temple here? And here is the answer. So there were fishermen fishing in the river, the Sumida River, just next to it. And they actually found Kanon Sama, a figure of Kanon in gold in the river while they were fishing. At first, everyone could see the Kanon. People were coming to see it from everywhere and to pray. But little by little, there were just more important people who could see it. It became more secure. More to, to build a building for it, and it was more hidden in it. Until finally, in the end, they decided that nobody could see it. It was too dangerous. They said if people were to see it, they would become blind. So for 1,400 years, no one had actually seen it. It kept hidden. And even during the Meiji period, there were about 100 people who decided they wanted to see it. And the stories say, while they were climbing the stairs, they all fell down and died. So they decided it would be hidden forever. So nobody has seen it actually until now. It still keeps hidden somewhere. Wonder how it looks like. So right now we have arrived just next to Santanji Temple. And you can see the five-storied pagodas. As the name said, there are five floors. And on the very top, on the fifth floor, it is said that you can find the bones of the Buddha-sama. And actually, the pagoda, you can only enter three times a year. <laughs> so you can see right now it's closed. Okay. I've bought here some incense. It's going to be used in the place over there. First of all, I'm going to light it up here so it burns and the incense is said to be the blessing of Buddha so you're going to bring all the smell on you and it's going to heal like if you've got bad shoulders or got some place that hurts if you, have, if you want to have a better head then you just get all the incense on you and it's going to be the blessing let's do it So I get all the blessing for that, so I can get better. <laughs> At the entrance of temple, you can find fondants like this. They're used to purify yourself. So right now, because of corona, they aren't, but usually you have a small kind of flow you can use. You put it on your hands, on your right hand, and then you wash it. And you wash your mouth too. 
put in your hand. But yeah, right now, because of Corona, you just take it with your hands, just like that. <laughs> and you can see it's being spit out by dragons. This is water, it's used so you purify it, so now you can enter the temple. Since you can get up. So I'm just back for going inside and praying. The atmosphere inside was really nice, it's kind of dark and everyone is praying and throwing money. You can really feel the atmosphere of praying, so I hope my wish is going to come true. <laughs> we are now standing next to Sensoji Temple. Now, during the Edo period, there were a lot, a lot of fires in the city. So, the built on this side, you can see, it was a big recipient inside of which they were storing a lot of water in case of fire. And when there was a fire, they were using the buckets and they were just taking the water out of the tank and using those buckets in order to put out all the fires in the city. It happened a lot and was very dangerous. Now, I would like to talk a little about this symbol because in Europe, it has a similar symbol has been used in Nazism, but this is completely different. This is a much older symbol used for the temple in Buddhism. It is different and it is real sad that it's being confused. Please don't think about nothing about this. This one is totally about temples and religion. We're gonna do omikuchi. So these are omikuchi. So how do we do that? First, this one costs 100 yen. I've got my coin. So you put your coin. So we're going to pick a Mikuji and they say here in Asakusa it is the highest rate of bad luck, a Mikuji. A Mikuji of fortune, and apparently here is the worst, so real bad luck. So I've got my 100 and then look, I take the box while making away. And then I get one of them. So I get the number, so I have to find it. Ah, and I've got a regular one, so no bad luck for me. So mine is pretty good, so if you have a good one, you can bring it home. Actually, you can see everything is, is very good for me. To say it's like a normal one, a regular fortune, but actually everything is really good, so I'm really happy about it. I can bring this one home because it's good, but if it was bad, if it was bad fortune, you have to just tie it up on toes of the ring. But this one is good, so I bring it home with me. We are now visiting the Asakusa Shrine, and as you can see, it is literally next to Sensoji Temple. It's really next to it, but here you have the temple, and here it's a shrine. So it's really strange that they are different, but they are just next to each other. And I was really surprised because it's difficult to know which one's which. And when I saw this Todi, the portal, first I thought it was a shrine because it's not red like usual shrine. You can see like the rope. And that's typical shrine, so I, even me, I was a little confused which one is which. This is a shrine, the Asakusa shrine, and that's the temple. So they're really next to each other, it's amazing, it's so different, but still. We are now heading to the shrine and they say you cannot walk in the middle of the way because this is the path to the gods. The gods are walking in the middle, so you have to walk on sideways. Here we go. <laughs> so how to do it? First, you have to have a coin and you throw it inside the box, not too strongly. Then you have to bow twice, once and twice. Then you have to put your hands together, but the right hand a little lower. And then you have to clap twice while making a sound. 
So you can announce to God that you're coming and you're here. Then you bow again and you make a prayer. And once the prayer is done, you bow once again and then you can go.